Finally, we are ready to actually install Windows and then finish the installation by installing the Bootcamp driver software. So once your hard drive has finished partitioning, your machine will restart automatically and then begin loading up the Windows setup. You can just set your default options here and click on Next and then click on the big Install button. So you can go ahead and accept the agreement, click on Next. And we're not going to do an upgrade here, we're going to do the advanced because we're going to install it from scratch. So we click on custom. And here's where we need to select the partition that we're going to install to. It's really, really important that you select the correct partition. In this case, we're going to select the one that's labeled boot camp. That's the one that it's set up for us. And you want to double check the size to make sure it matches the one that you created earlier. Now you might see this option down here where it says Windows cannot be installed and that's just because uh, it doesn't always go uh, quite as smoothly as you'd expect. But all you need to do is select the correct partition, click on Drive Options, and then click on Format, OK, and it just does a quick format again and keep that partition selected and just click on Next. And then it'll begin the installation process. Okay, at this point you can set up your copy of Windows 7 and you can simply type in your username. So I'm going to type in the name for the person whose computer this is. Click Next. And then you can type in a password. And this can be changed later if you need to. Type in a hint that's useful to you. And then you'll need your product key that was part of your software download. So you can go ahead and type that in. And then we'll set up the security settings and just use the recommended settings. Set up your time zone. And then you can connect to uh, any local wireless networks to configure your internet settings. And once that's complete, then your copy of Windows is going to be set up and you'll see your desktop interface for the first time and we can move on to the next step. We've got our copy of Windows installed and we'll be presented with the desktop here. And you might think that everything is complete and that you're done, but this is actually the most crucial step. This is where we need to install Bootcamp, which is actually the software or set of drivers that enables your Mac hardware to correctly talk to the Windows operating system. So we have a couple of options here, and it depends on how your initial Bootcamp setup worked on the Mac side. If you are able to get Bootcamp to download the necessary support files onto your flash drive, then you can go to your My Computer and you can run the setup from your flash drive and it will install that way. But in my case that didn't work so I need to manually download my copy of Bootcamp and install it. So I'm going to go to my Internet Explorer and I'm going to go to that same address that I went to before which is just apple.com forward slash support forward slash bootcamp. And just as I did previously, I'm going to click on the System Requirements link there and scroll down to the option to select the machine I'm using. So I'm using the MacBook Pro. Verify the version you installed. So I installed Windows 7 64-bit. And then come down to your year and model. So for me it's a 2009 15-inch MacBook Pro. And you can see I need to install version 4. So I click on that and it's going to give me the latest version and simply click download and then we'll save this I'll put it on my desktop once your copy of bootcamp has finished downloading then you'll be left with this zip folder which you can simply double click on and then you can extract the contents just by dragging it out and copying it and then you can simply run the bootcamp installer which is the setup file from within that extracted folder. And then this is the official bootcamp installer. So this is where you can install the drivers and get everything running as it should. So we can run the uh, Apple software update for Windows. Click on install. 
and then it's going to go through and install a series of different sets of drivers and different petite pieces of software including the bootcamp specific application which lets you customize some of your settings and this will take a little while to complete and once it's finished you'll see it's installed multiple device drivers and now things like your eyesight camera, your trackpad, your audio, that kind of thing should all be working correctly. And you can simply click finish and it's going to ask you to do a final restart of your computer to get everything uh, correctly set up. So you can go ahead and do that and that process will be complete. And finally, when your machine has restarted for the last time, you'll see that things like your display resolution have improved and they've it's been set to your native resolution and also that the bootcamp help file is up here and open so you can read through that if you want to learn more but also you'll find this little bootcamp installer icon which has been placed here and you can click on this and you have a few options you can actually click to restart in Mac OS 10 or you can go to your bootcamp control panel and from here you can configure a couple of things like your brightness remote control, uh, use of the keyboard, and also the trackpad. So I like to set up a couple of options here myself. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can set up your machine to actually get back into the Mac operating system. And one way is to use the startup disk option, and you can select Mac OS X and simply click restart, and that will become the option from now on. In OS X you can also set the default operating system to load into by going to your system preferences and then you select startup disk and simply select the operating system you'd like to load up by default and click on restart. Finally the most flexible way of selecting the operating system you'd like to load into is to simply restart your machine and when you hear the Mac chime sound you can actually hold down the option key and then you'll be presented with this boot menu. You can simply select the operating system you'd like to load into and then click on the arrow and you'll be presented with that operating system. So that's everything from start to finish, working with the Bootcamp Setup Assistant, partitioning your hard drive, getting your Windows copy burnt to disk, and then finally installing the Bootcamp drivers after you've installed your operating system. Thanks for watching.